Okay, now what's happening behind us here today in this course? What are they learning? This is a FANUC based course for the FANUC operating system and they're doing the turning. So at the moment we're doing two axis and we will be progressing onto the C and Y axis and subspindle. And how, how long would a course take that they're undergoing here? What would it look like? Is it them working alone? Is it you presenting on the screen? What's the general theme? It's a bit of a mix. So I will go through the basics on the screen and things that they have full simulation software by FANUC to actually do the jobs themselves and to simulate it to make sure they can do the programming correctly. Um, how, how detailed are these courses, Adrian? How, how equipped are they to hit industry once they leave here? Give us a little bit of the detail and certifications and maybe things like that. Well, it, we, we tend to go with more with an ISO-based co course. So it's all G-codes, M-codes of the traditional FANUC software. And then we move on to Manual Guide I, which is the conversational system. So this will prepare them for any machine, no matter what the age of a FANUC machine. And when you compare FANUC to other controls, then what else could you be sitting in here tomorrow showing people the Heidenhain system, the Siemens? Yep, we cover the FANUC control, Siemens control, and the Heidenhain control, milling and turning. We also do CAD CAM packages, things like and, that. And how would this course look? They're in here now, but do they go out to the machine? What's the mix of uh, what they're doing? This course is mainly on theoretical. We do a little bit on the machine just to show them the actual physical control, but the simulator will simulate that about 98% the same as the machine. But I do go on the machine just to show them around the control. And what's your experience um, for those that are looking to come to train, come to be trained here? Uh, you know, what's, what's your level, for example? Where, where have you, how have you got to where you've got to in order to be standing here presenting? Uh, well, I started on the shop floor, did a full apprenticeship, did all my city and guilds, uh, HNC, HND, ONC. Um, so I went through all that on the shop floor, eventually got into applications, became an applications engineer for m many years, even did a bit of service engineering. And uh, eventually I joined Mills and became a trainer. And, and how is it advancing now? You're looking at uh, what we're doing here, two, three axis turning. How important is it for people to come and train here regularly to make sure that they're at the top of their game? Well, Fanuc and Siemens and Heidenhain are all evolving. So the controls are changing over the years. So it's always quite good to get a, an update, especially if you have new controls and new machines.